I don't like this pole. Any of it. You arranged all this. I love you so much. Everybody's looking for something in this place. All right, so just a few weeks ago, we had Chaswick Bozeman starring as Thurgood Marshall in Marshall. And I love that film. It was fantastic. If you want to see my appearance last review, there's a link to my review down in the description box below. And of course, next year, we have him playing Black Panther during Black History Month on February 16th. And I cannot freaking wait for that movie to drop and hit theaters. But now we have him in a Netflix original on Netflix called A Message from the King. Is it any good? Well, let's find out. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. All right, guys, thank you very much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for A Message from the King starring Chaswick Bozeman. It is a Netflix original. You can check it out right now on Netflix. I believe this was released a few weeks ago, not a few weeks ago, a few months ago, back in May. I've been wanting to review this and watch this for a long time, but I finally got around to it. So thank you for tuning in. But before we get into the review, help your boy out, go ahead and click that subscribe button, become one of my subscribers, click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads. And also guys, give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. Now, like I said, I have been wanting to see this for a long time. It is being portrayed as kind of a thriller slash drama. Not that much action. Um, you know, there was just a little bit in the trailers. And what the movie is about is basically Chadwick Boseman is a man named, by the name of Jacob King. And he has a sister named Bianca. He gets a call from Bianca basically saying that he uh, she needs his help. So he comes you know, over from Cape Town, South Africa, comes over to the States, Los Angeles. And he's trying to investigate, find out that she's been murdered. And he's angry. He's out there looking for revenge and wants to revenge, wants to avenge his little sister. And from the very beginning of the movie, it hits home or whatever. The best thing about this movie is Chadwick Boseman by far is just his acting. I mean, I loved it. I loved his acting. That is the best thing of this whole entire movie. As far as the action is concerned, there really isn't any action at all. I mean, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's a little punches and kicks here and there, but this is not an action driven film. So if that's what you was going into expecting before you hit play on your remote, you know, go ahead and tone those expectations down a little bit, because even though you're not really paying a whole bunch for this at the box office. I still want you to enjoy um, this movie. And something that surprises me is there are a lot of A-listed celebrities in this movie that I was not familiar with that was going to pop up. I mean, I could ruin it for you now or just read off the cast list on IMDb. But, you know, when I was watching, I was like, oh, I don't know you was going to pop up. Oh, I don't know you was going to pop up either. I know who you are. I know who you are. You're pretty good. And, you know, those A-list celebrities do make the movie just seem a little bit better. Um, but this movie is being directed by Fabrice Del. Fabrice Duwelts, and I've never heard of him before. Uh, never seen any of his films before. If you want to know some other movies that he has uh, written or produced or directed, um, you can look it up. One of them is called Quote 45. I heard of that before, uh, but I have not seen it. Uh, but this is just really an investigation piece. You know, Chadwick Boseman is Jacob King is just trying to find out, you know, how did um, his uh, younger sister get murdered? And the only lead that he has is one address. And he has to take that one address and just kind of turn into a policeman. He's like, a, and I don't want to say a fish out of water, but he's a foreigner. And, you know, foreigners don't always, you know, blend in with everybody else. So as soon as he's just hitting the streets trying to figure out what's going on, you know, it kind of instantly puts a target on his back. And that's just one of the things that makes the, um, the film good is because even though he has that target on his back, this man has no fear at all. He just doesn't care. I mean, and with that being said, that can kind of, as far as his character is concerned, that can kind of make him throw like logic out of the window because early on in the film where he was kind of frustrated and kind of had an idea who was involved in his sister's murder. He just kind of went back crap crazy and didn't think through in the first little bitty action scene 
because it was hand to hand and it was nice and it was rugged it wasn't like this was choreographed it really looked like you know they just said action and let these characters just fight it out on the screen but at the same time i'm like dude could you have not done a little bit of reconnaissance just a little bit i mean you have no guns or anything like that so what makes you assume that the enemy that the bad guys don't have any guns either because if they were smart if you jump on five or six people at once you know they can just one of them you can just kind of step back and point a pistol at you and bam 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 and now you're dead the movie's over with so that's like just a little bit of gripe there but at the same time i kind of give it to his character and kind of give him a pass because i mean he's hurt he's distraught you know he's really upset and he really just in a way doesn't have you know anything to lose so maybe that's the attitude that he has and he just kind of wanted to go out with the bang um the cast like i said across the board whether they're a list or b list is pretty stellar i did appreciate it um some are a act a list celebrities some are b list some of course are people that you've never heard of before and um it's not boring at all um you know it's just kind of a mystery because we the movie starts out and you already know his sister is dead and even kind of in the first act of the film beginning of the second act you kind of already know who's responsible for the murder you just don't really understand why and of course that is revealed at the end but that is what makes the movie good because you know early on his sister is named bianca and the people that didn't know her just was talking about how great of a person she is so you just kind of wondering like wow if she was just such a great person you know why why was she murdered you know i mean she just didn't die she was murdered and somewhat tortured so like what in the world could she have done you know what bad guys in her life you know could have done this to her what could she have done to you know draw this attention to her and that's just the mystery behind it the soundtrack of the movie is uh pretty good as well um i don't know who is behind it but i do remember at least once or twice during this movie you know uh the music did kick in and it did enhance the scenes and i really did enjoy that uh, but for the most part you know uh, all the praise goes to chadwick boseman because he, he just has such you you know a calm cool and collective demeanor in this movie just kind of going around just trying to figure out what's going on but when he gets angry he really gets angry you know he has this south african accent to where um it does seem pretty um i don't want to say sin significant is not the word but just you know on point it does it does seem like you know he did his homework and you know he did get that accent down man he's just you know really subtle with his words or whatever but when he gets angry he's like oh what am I gonna? you know it's like whoa okay this is i don't you don't want to mess with this guy you know he's quite angry or whatever and you know you don't want to mess with him you don't you better give him the answers because he's going to break your face in 16 different ways and you know if someone could break my face in 16 different ways i would just go the other way or you know kind of give them what they wanted if i had all the reasons you know to do so and um in the movie a lot of the characters did and i did not know how it was going to end when um the mystery towards the end of the movie was revealed i was satisfied i wasn't uh disappointed at all and um i really just did enjoy the movie it was pretty straightforward easy to follow um nothing special or over complicated about that you know it was a nice simple movie and um you know it 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 it, it you know it, it did its justice you know i mean this is just really a nice netflix original that you can watch at home and just really enjoy yourself especially you know if you are a fan of chaswick boseman um if i had to rate this movie out of a one out of ten i would give this a nine out of ten yes a nine out of ten again it's not that special it is just a simple movie but there's nothing wrong with simple movies at all you know, I really did like it. It comes in about an hour and 42 minutes. I enjoyed it, and I think you will, too. But, guys, that is just my opinion. Have you seen Message from the King, or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Or do you agree with me, or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide. And you can also click the bell so you can be notified when I do make uploads. Check me out on my website. I do have written reviews there. You can bookmark it at justmyopinion.net. And also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff. I, it's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy for providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Message from the King, a Netflix original starring Chaswick Bozeman. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, 
and this is just my opinion. Peace.